Hey guys, welcome back to episode 7 of the My Player Save here on FIFA 23. Episode 7 means we've had a full week of My Player now already, and you guys are continuing to thoroughly enjoy this save. Thank you so much for the support on this and the Arsenal save as well. Means the world. Please do continue to hit the thumbs up and leave your comments on every video because it genuinely helps the algorithm and helps the channel and pushes us to new people. We've had an influx of new... Uh, followers as well. Over a thousand new subscribers since the launch of FIFA 23. So welcome to all of you. We've pushed past 280,000 subscribers uh, in the past few days. Today, we crack on in League One, trying to get victory against Plymouth. Our form recently has been questionable. Three straight defeats in the league, albeit with a couple of cup victories in there as well and then finally we're able to stop the rock with a draw against Forest Green last time around now we have a very important game today this Plymouth one is important in itself and then after that we're down to the south coast for a second time on Tuesday for Brighton Premier League Brighton in the Carabao Cup our first higher division opposition of the save very much looking forward to that now to give you an idea of where we are with regards our personality points, we're very well-rounded, it seems. Slightly leaning towards Heartbeat over Maverick, only by uh, by 2%, 38 to 36. And Virtuoso is not far behind, so I am getting a bit of a boost to my penalties, free kick accuracy, dribbling, ball control, volleys, vision, reactions, attacking positioning, stamina, and composure. <sighs> so... Hopefully we can keep on going in that vein. I might like a little bit of a boost to my acceleration, but I don't want to do that. Actually, I could do that at the cost of my attack positioning. Because if we're honest, attack positioning isn't really that important a stat because I'm the one that positions me. So I can probably afford to aim a little bit more into Maverick and go get acceleration there and lose the attack positioning on heartbeat or agility and balance in virtuoso but i could probably afford to take a little bit out of heartbeat and it not affect our overall performance too much we are about a fifth of the way towards the plus three attribute boost rather than the plus one so we're getting there and what i wanted to do today was also add something to my stats I'm going to improve my short passing because it has been terrible so far. And even though we are getting some good assists, I still feel like we need to improve a little bit. So I'm going to add one on there. But we are very much drip feeding the skill points. We've got 12 more that we can add. We got an assist in the last episode for Joey to get that goal that got us the draw against Forest Green. I'd like to be on the score sheet myself today off the bench on the right-hand side of midfield, and we're 1-0 down. So we definitely do need to be on the score sheet or getting a goal contribution at the very least to get something from this game. Continually, do make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more content, whether it be this save or the Arsenal career mode uh, itself. And of course, hit that notification bell and you won't miss another video. I'll go for the dribble success rate. We'll get that. That's absolutely achievable. And what was it? 7.0 for the match rating as well. Well, if we get the assist and or goal that we think we need, then we will be able to do that. That's going to fall free to James Brophy here. He's got Liam O'Neill. Brophy to me. Give that to Digby. Digby's in. Oh, good save by the keeper. Very nearly. Digger very nearly equalising for Cambridge there and getting us an assist immediately. Look how close that was to going in. It's actually former Cambridge United goalkeeper Callum Burton that's in goal for Plymouth here. That cross is headed my way. It's flicked on. Lloyd Jones is underneath it. And Cal Burton comes to get it. Still 1-0 down, half an hour to play, but positive signs. And I must remember, I'm right mid today, not Camel striker. Joey, back to O'Neill. Lloyd-Jones, you've got Willow there on the right. George Williams is ready and waiting, but both of us are here on the right-hand side. But the play's going down the left at the minute. I'll tuck in narrow a little bit. They're not really challenging Digby there, and he's found Brophy, who's drilling it into the middle, but it's cleared away by the defender. But Liam O'Neill nearly recovered it. Their goal scorer, Niall Ennis, gets on the end of it, and now they're countering here as well. Ricardo Pereira has gone to FTC Bayern München from Leicester. It was one of the bigger transfer dealings in the save we saw that actually on deadline day a couple of episodes ago grant into danny mayer tackled well by lloyd jones and 
cleared away. Now I'm going to try and race away down the right if I can, but the play seems to continually go down the left. That's a nice ball by Adam May that will find me. I'm looking at the minimap to see if I've got players in the middle to aim for. And Joey Ironside is arriving and we'll look for him. Oh, he's missed it. Good idea, it says to me. Okay, at least I got a positive from that. Flick that on. Ah, Galloway wins the header. O'Neill finds me. I'll find a teammate. I'll go again. He's played me in. We're in the box. Narrow angle. Goal! Equaliser for Cambridge United. Right in front of those away travelling fans. An assist yesterday. A goal today. For the first time in a couple of videos, we've managed to tuck the ball away. Adame with a nice one too. Burst of acceleration. And we're in. And we've scored. Not really sure what's happening with the face of their goal. <laughs> Of one of their defenders there. I think one of them has a bit of a placeholder uh, animation or placeholder graphic. Look, the, the centre back in the middle there. I wonder if I can change player to show him. That's a lovely tattoo you've got there, mate. You look absolutely brilliant. He's got a bit of crow's feet, doesn't he? He's getting on a bit. He's got some crow's feet there. Generic hairline, non receding. Well, at least he's got a decent hairline. There's just no hair on there anyway. Regardless, we've scored the goal and certainly at this rate, if we stay as is, we might be back in the starting lineup for the game against Brighton in the Carabao Cup. We might start against Premier League opposition. Sam Smith on for Joe Ironside. Smith can play up top. He can play out wide. He can play at Cam. But as far as I'm aware, no change in formation yet. We're still playing right mid. We're on the score sheet now. 20 minutes to go, including stoppage. It's going to end in a counter-attack for Plymouth Argyle. Edwards down the right-hand side. Niall Ennis looking to find some space in the middle. Here's Comas. Turns well. Ennis is running. It's floated across here. Williams is going to get out to him. Carlin Grant. Not Carlin Grant. Different Grant. Here's Azaz. Shot. Saved by Dimmy. Would have seen it late. Came through a number of bodies. Another change. For them, Ryan Hardy on for Niall Ennis now. And Brophy's off and Shiloh Tracy is on for us. So two changes, one apiece. They are going to take that short. Try and mark the man on the near post here. Randall's in. Oh, I nearly caught him. He's buried it. Ryan Hardy, moments after coming off the bench, pops it in the top corner. A brilliant finish. And we might yet lose this game. If we weren't 1-0 down when we came on, it would have been a 1-1 draw. But... It's a great finish. That is right in the corner. Unstoppable for the keeper. <sighs> we might be back to losing ways at the end of this. Unless we can find something special. I've been moved to Cam now. As you can see, bottom left. So, hopefully it's not long before we can create another chance as a team. Shiloh Tracy to Adam May. To Sam Smith looking for me. Well, he got rid of it. Old grey face over there. It's like he's got dragon scale or something. Five minutes to go. 2-1 Plymouth. Into Comas. It's looking more likely it'll be 3-1 Plymouth than it is 2-2. Was he onside there? He was indeed a corner for Plymouth. Come on, let's counter. Ibanez on for Azaz. Let's counter. Get rid. Get rid. Oh, it was them that had the chance through. Uh, Dragonscale face himself. Is it Dragonscale or is it Grayscale? I can't remember. He's... It's grayscale and it looks like dragon scales, doesn't it? Go on, you're in, Sam. Advantage play for the foul on me. Adam May, Sam Smith, Williams. To me, the chance to equalise. Not taken. Brilliant save by the keeper. The chance was there. Oh, keeper's up. Dimmy's up and all sorts. Here we go. And it's headed my way. I'm up. Off the post. To me again. Shoot. Sherman shoots! Oh! I got to the header off the woodwork. So very nearly. So very nearly getting the equaliser. Oh, we got one, but we couldn't get two. But continually, it is an improvement, albeit not in result, but in performance on that run of defeats that we had. So we have to take the positives from that one, I think. Even though our league position is going to suffer, I got my objectives, two of the three. So we will only, unfortunately, be on the bench against Brighton. Although, is a goal off the... Ah, to be fair, Joey scored in the game before that as well, didn't he? Do I deserve to start the game against Brighton? I don't 
don't know. I don't know whether I'd be kind of forcing it just to make sure that I play against Brighton. Uh... Go on. Let's start against Brighton. Let's start. Let's play the full 90, provided I don't get substituted off, against Premier League opposition in the Carabao Cup into the starting 11. We have a decision to make. Read a book about your favourite footballer. Read the autobiography of your childhood hero to understand the secrets behind his success. And my favourite footballer is Ronaldinho. But my childhood hero was Michael Owen growing up. So it's a mixture of the two. So I shall read two autobiographies. I will read Ronaldinho's and I'll read Michael Owen's. And we'll get 30 Virtuoso points and 10 Heartbeat points for doing so. Not sure how that adjusts, actually, our our personality points. Let's have a look. It was 30... We're still exactly where we were. 36, 38, 26. Okay. Right then. Let's go and start against Premier League Brighton in the Carabao Cup. How strong a lineup are they playing? Robert Sanchez, Lewis Dunk. Billy Gilmore, Modair, Danny Welbeck, Leandro Trossard. It's not a full-strength Brighton side, but it's certainly a strong Brighton side. Now, this is a real test. I believe this might be our first game at an actual stadium, like real-life stadium, playing at the Amex. 40% dribble success rate is absolutely achievable. Only wants a 7.5 from me as well, not an 8.5, which is nice. Playing, of course, at striker. With Adam May behind me, Brophy one side. Actually, Jack Lancaster on the right this time around. That's nice to see. Jack's really coming into a recent, really decent spell of form in real life. Digby and Warman sat in the midfield with Dunk, Okadina, Ibsen, Rossi and Dimi. Well, this is going to be a real test. I wouldn't be surprised if we lose this by four or five goals to nil. But I will try and lead the line well. And we'll give it our best possible shot of pulling off a cup upset. Is Borja Iglesias actually that's up top? So I didn't recognise the name initially with a, like didn't make the connection with Iglesias and a Brighton player. So presumed it was just a youngster that I'd not heard of before. But Borja Iglesias is actually a very capable striker. Really capable. Like 83 rated or something similar he was last year. I'm gonna look for Adam May here. Oh and Moder just got in the way before I could get the pass off, unfortunately. So pass deflected. Never mind. We've shown that we can defend well, and we've attacked relatively well, provided I time my passes a little bit better. Here is Borja Iglesias. We need to close him down. Don't just let him shoot from the edge of the box like that. We did get in the way, and we will half clear it. But Billy Gilmore recovers possession, and it's out wide here to turn Welbeck. Picked off by Zeno, and we will get rid of it this time. Hello, a little bit of cheeky passing of our own. Adam May into me. James Brophy on the overlap. Here you go. Back to Digby, to me. I'll look for Brophy again. This is building very well. Are we in the box for a chance? Oh, I swung at it. Lancaster has support here from Digby. Digby could go for goal. Adam May does. Adam May scores. League one, Cambridge United one. Premier League Brighton zip after 20 minutes. Up the yellows. Great finish as well. I, I did press shoot. When the ball came across into the middle and you saw my guy swing at it with his left foot, he completely missed it. And then it ended up being passed around a couple more times and Adam May sweeps it home into the bottom corner. Really, really good finish. Thrilled with that. We are on our way in the Carabao Cup. Could we about be about to claim a massive scalp in the Carabao Cup? We've made a habit of it in real life, of late, beating Newcastle United in the Premier League last season. IRL, yes, I'll mention it again. Can we beat Brighton here in the Carabao Cup in the virtual world? Digby, forward to me. I'll go one way, then turn the other and play Brophy in. It's actually Harrison Dunk getting forward, but Brophy's found. Oh, he's giving it away. Dunk to me. No, heavy touch. Oh, squeezed in from a narrow angle. Cambridge 2, Brighton 0. What was Robert Sanchez doing? My touch was awful. And I thought I'd given the ball away. Boot, you can hear the boos around the ground. My touch was so heavy because I was sprinting to get away from the defender. And the keeper's just bottled it. He could easily have gotten there. 
but he's just backed away from it inexplicably and I'm going to squeeze that home. I'll clip that actually and send that to the devs because I'm not sure really whether the keeper should have committed there. Came all the way out to it, could comfortably have gotten there, backed away and I've squeezed it home from a narrow angle. Not that we care that much. Cambridge 2, Premier League Brighton 0. And I've been on the score sheet. And then I've balled that pass up. Abel Ruiz, who's a capable player in his own right as well. Brighton are off the boil here, looking for the overlapping run of Harrison Dunk, who's come forward, who's found me. And in the middle there is Adam May. <gasps> is it three? What's happening? Someone pinched me. Is this dreamland? We are getting our best victory of the season against the Premier League team in the cup. The boos are getting louder and louder around the Amex. This is a whirlwind. A goal for me, an assist now, and two goals for Adam May. Cambridge, three. Premier League, Brighton. Fielding a really strong side. Nil. Yeah. Billy Gilmore, Modair, Iglesias, Abel Ruiz. Runner on the outside is Leandro Trossard. Come on then, let's see some Premier League quality from you, eh, Brighton? Trossard into the middle, given away. Cleared only as far as Lee dong Yun. And Welbeck turns, but turns straight into Okadina. And calm as you like, composed at the back. Wow, we're almost taking the mickey out of them now, Brighton. This has been, without any question, the best first half of the entire season so far. Lancaster into me. Oh, I was going to try and turn and get Adam May in for a hat-trick. Not yet, at least. But there's still 45 minutes to come. 20, 27, 34. A 14-minute flurry. And we're 3-0 up at half-time. Gobsmacked and lost for words, really, with how that first half went. Lee dong Yun looking to try and get them back in the game. Borhar Iglesias, saved by Dimi. Was onside. It's a corner. I'm on an 8.0 at the minute with a goal and an assist to my name. You never know. We might get a little bit more between now and the end. We've won it back off them. And hopefully we'll just get rid of this. And we have done well. Counter-attack. Adam May. On a hat-trick. Digby to May again. Around the corner. Digby. He's got the option of Brophy. Brophy was offside, so he used me. Brophy's back onside. We'll call for the ball in the middle here from Dunk. It's floated. Oh! Chez! Anywhere but there, mate. On the volley. Straight at the keeper. Robert Sanchez can't believe his luck. I could have been on a hat-trick too. It could have been 4-0. Trossard. Inside to Modere. Iglesias. Abel Ruiz. Timmy makes the stop. They are having more chances here now, Brighton. Though They are turning up in this second half, going through the gears. They've made a change, though. It's a Mwepu one for Abel Ruiz. Brophy heads clear from the corner. Half an hour to play. If we can score three goals in 14 minutes, then absolutely they can score three or more in 30, can't they? Here's Trossard. Option, Iglesias. Just bounced off him. Good footwork, but tackled well by the defender. And we'll stay 3-0 up for now. Brophy into Dunk, into me. Bright, uh, Adam May is still there on a hat-trick. He's only gone and done it. Adam May with... A disgustingly accurate finish and a hat-trick for the man that used to play on the South Coast himself at Portsmouth. Very, very comfortable in this part of the country, Adam May, it seems. From outside the box, pinpoint accuracy, Cambridge 4, Brighton 0. That's more goals than we've scored in any game this season against Premier League opposition. Unbelievable. Two goals and two assists for me in this... Sorry. One goal and two... Yeah. One goal and two assists for me in this game so far as well. And a hat-trick for Adam May now. I've been switched to left mid. So we're going to play on at left mid. Let's see. Is, is it a 4 2 four triple two again? Or is it... No, it's 4 2 three, one still. Lancaster's been moved up top. So I imagine he's probably going to be... Coming off soon. Greg Taylor being played at Cam for some reason when he's a centre-back. That's a little bit odd. But regardless, I don't really know as it matters who's on the pitch right now. Because Brighton aren't getting themselves back in this, are they? Not a chance. They might get a consolation goal or two. 
But Mitov has made three really good saves now. And Bryson clearly, very much so, missing Graham Potter. Jack Lancaster off and Joe Ironside on did think that Lancaster might be coming off. Weird to see Greg Taylor at Cam though. Maybe we're just going that defensive. We're putting a centre-back higher up the pitch, just trying to stay in the lead as long as possible. Oh, Iglesias does pull one back. Just helping it on its way, tucked in the corner. A little bit much to celebrate it quite so flamboyantly, considering you're now only 4-1 behind, but it's well tucked away. Is that the start of the most remarkable comeback for the home side? I've been changed to striker again. We changed the striker, so now we've probably gone four triple two, have we? No, just straight. Oh no, five four one. Wow. Okay, Joe Einstein now on the right hand side. I really like the fact that the managers are flexible with what they do and have a wider range of alternatives to go to. On last year's my play, when I was doing it on Facebook, and especially the earlier seasons that we did it, they would always seemingly make the same change all the time and would never change formation or if they did they'd always go to the same one but we've seen a 4 triple 2 we've seen a 4 3 3 we've seen 4 2 3 1 now this is the first time i think we've seen a five back and the manager makes different changes all the time as well really really pleased to see the diversity of options in this player career mode to be completely honest so far this is probably the best experience we've had with my player content on the channel with regards the depth of options available and the depth of the game mode as a whole. Whether we have as good a season or as good a save either with in-game performances or with performance on the channel over the next few weeks and months, I'm not sure. But certainly, I think I'm enjoying this more so than I have done any my player. Oh dear so far in my YouTube career. I think the only way I could enjoy it more would be if I actually was able to load in my own game face, which you never know, we might be able to do in future episodes. They've just hit the woodwork twice in the space of two minutes. Brighton are looking for goals back, but there's just not enough time for them to get enough. Hey, cheeky little back heel, I'm offside. <laughs> Brophy to dunk, I'll be onside, but it's a hell of a tackle. And Wepu, with five minutes to go here for Brighton, Undav. Over the top. Gross around the corner. Lee Dong Yun. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section as well. Is this for you also the most you've enjoyed a my player save ever on the channel thus far? I think for me it genuinely might be. Trossart and Wepu. Shot saved. Corner Brighton. They've had all of the play in this second half. As George Williams goes off for Brandon Houndstrup. Who also actually came from Portsmouth, I think. Cleared away by Halmstrup. And we will just run it towards the corner. And try and hold on to it. As time ticks away, it is to be a 4-1 victory here. Against Brighton and Hove Albion. An Adam May hat-trick. On top of our opener. And Cambridge United get the biggest shock result. Of arguably the club's entire history. A goal and two assists for me. My best performance of the season. The team's best performance of the season. And the club's best result of all time. Yeah, very much solidly now in the starting lineup. And all of a sudden, I'm very, very, very pleased that we did that training before the game to get ourselves into the starting lineup, aren't you? Port Vale and Barnsley on the horizon for us moving forward. We've got a number of uh, skill points there. We've dropped to 17th. Oh, my God. We're actually only two points above the relegation zone now. But we're only three points off 10th and five points off the playoffs. All it takes is a run of form. And to be honest, Port Vale is definitely a game that we should be winning at home. But that is one for the record books. One for the history books of all time. For Cambridge United as a club. I tell you what. If you haven't hit like on this video so far. I don't think you ever will. Drop the video a like. If you're enjoying let me know in the comment section. And please do subscribe with the notification bell ticked. Enjoy the rest of your weekend on Sunday. Hit a thousand likes again. And I'll see you tomorrow for another MyPlayer. And of course the Arsenal save too. Bye bye.